Welcome to Excel 2013 Statistical Analysis video number 26. And if you want to download this Excel workbook or our PDF files for Chapter 4, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a uh, short video here about combinations and permutations before we go on to more calculating probability for events. Hey, we got to talk about combination. And our goal with combinations is to count the total number of experimental outcomes, sample points when selecting n objects from a set of n objects. Remember, n is the sample size, n is the population size. Now, the difference between combinations and permutations is combinations, the order doesn't matter. So 1, 2 is the same as 2, 1. If we were doing permutations, these would be considered different. Order doesn't matter for combinations. Now here's our formula, and of course you remember it from your algebra. Big N factorial, little n factorial, and in parentheses, big N minus little n factorial. Now we can do formulas like this longhand. You'll see here it is. Or we can use the combin function. Now let's look at our example. Find all possible combinations of sample size n from population with size big N. We'll use this later in our chapter 7 or 8 when we learn about the central limit theorem. Hey, here's our small sample for this example. We have four boomerangs, quad, tri-fly, sunshine, and bellin. Population is n, sample size is 2. We want to randomly select 2 of 4 to test. Order doesn't matter. So we want to figure out all the different combinations of sample size of 2. We could go ahead and do our factorials, canceling, and get 6. Or we can use the combin function. We'll also list all of our sample points. Now permutations, if we are doing the same example, remember, 2 comma 1 is not the same as 1 comma 2. Those are different. Hey, here's our formula. We just take away that little n factorial in the denominator. We can see here we'd get 12 instead of 6. So there's a lot more when you consider order. The permit function will help us over in Excel. And there's our sample space. Let's go over to Excel and see how to do this. We need to randomly select two of four boomerangs to test. Order doesn't matter. The number, hey, that's the population. I'm going to take the information from our source data. So count a uh, counts non-empty cells. It'll count those right up. And our number chosen, well, that's given. That's two. So combinations, well, guess what? We could do this longhand because there's a factorial function. Hey, we take factorial 4. And just to show you that that works, that gives us the factorial 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And we're going to divide this by, in parentheses, factorial of our little n times factorial of, hey, population size minus sample size, close parentheses, close parentheses. That's a lot of facts, right? Enter, and there we get our 6. Luckily, there's just the combin function. Number and number chosen. So this number, that is the 4. The population size and the number chosen is 2. Hey, combin, I love it. That gives us 2. Now, if we need to list all of the samples, 1, Enter, 2, Enter, and we highlight these and copy them down. Now, we have to be careful when we're listing from a sample like this. I'm going to add some borders. So I'm just going to look. And there's a Q, and then it needs to be matched up with a T, and then an S, and then a B. So I'm just going to start. I'm going to highlight just like we did last video and put a Q in the active cell. Control Enter to populate those all the way down. Then I'm just going to copy and paste, copy and paste. Now the trick is when we get to the next one, remember, escape to turn those dancing ants off. Remember, order doesn't matter. So I can't go T, Q, because I already have a Q, T. So now I just go T and then match it up with S and B. Highlight both cells, T, Control, Enter. And then I'm going to copy these and paste just because I'm lazy. Finally, we're left with S and B. So I typed S, Tab, B. And there we've listed all of the combinations. If I were going to sample just two from this population of four and order didn't matter, I could do any one of these. All right, now let's look at permutations. 
hey, we got the same set, number, number chosen, equals, well, we got to have our fact. And then divide by and simply a fact. Because inside any function, we can do an operation. Here we're subtracting, close parentheses, and boom, there is 12. Equals per mutt, tab, number chosen. Hey, sorry, that's the number, the population comma, and the number chosen, that is 2. We have 12. So we're going to have to list 12 here. So 1, Enter, 2, Enter, Copy. You can see that little screen tip. I love it. There's a 12. Oh, this one's going to be tricky. I'm going to need three of each. So I'm going to do highlight three cells, Q, Enter. Because when I copy this and paste it here, now when I start over, I can't just go T, S, B. I have to do T, Q, T, S, B. So each letter has to be matched up with the other three. So I will highlight all of this the borders. I'm going to highlight three cells, T, Enter. Highlight three cells, S, Enter. Whoops. Hey, watch this. I have an um, active cell right there. If I type in S, when I Control Enter, it'll not only populate through all these, but it will replace that one too. So if it was different, we would it would fix it. All right, ready? B and Enter. So there we go. Oh, now this is going to be tedious. I need a Q. And then I'm looking right here, SB. OK, so the S is I need a QT and then a B. And then for the Bs, oh, I'm going to just copy those. So there's all of the possibilities where order matter. That means we test the quad, throw the quad, and then the tri fly. But down here, where is it? We'd test the tri fly, then the quad. All right, so in this video, we just saw how to do permutations using permit or fact. And we also saw how to do combinations, combin or fa a bunch of facts, right? And again, later in chapter 7, I think it is, we'll come back to combinations and maybe a few others too. All right, next video, we'll continue with talking about the adding rules for probability. All right, see you next video.